Each job and conditions will be different, but this is where the challenge comes in. It gives you a lot of areas where you can go ahead and figure out what's the best way to go ahead and accomplish what you want. There's key elements to a successful project. Laser screed, as John touched on, uh, is one of the best ways that I found to go ahead and do this kind of work. Because the laser with the 3D profile controls grade from top down. In other words, once grade is set, we'll have pictures of showing um, the laser screed uh, operator setting existing grades that are put by me for the drainage plan. It controls the grade during placement to make sure that the drainage is proper. It's been around, I think, since around the year 2000 when it started to be perfected, but was when they went to the 3D profile system in the Cupreto programs that allow it to do contour paving is when this type of work really took off. It is the tool of choice for this type of work. The second big part of it is the ReadyMix producer. You need to work with them because timely deliveries of the concrete is crucial to a successful project. After the actual placing of the concrete, the texturing is the next step. That's ahead of the saw cutting. Very important that that is planned and that, that that procedure is done properly. A real good way to texture the concrete is with the broom. In our slide that we're showing you here, we have a rope pull across broom that will texture to different degrees. That's very important. There's different degrees of texturing on the broom by just replacing the broom a hardness of the bristle. Uh, the pull across rope broom works really good because most of these placements with the laser screed are wider where you can't reach them from the side and that's why the rope broom is the choice for my paving because of the width of the paving. Another key element for success is the saw cutting. It's for concrete overlay because of the thinness of the concrete and going with a thinner concrete pavement Bringing the joint spacing down is why it works. That has to be pre-planned out because at the point that you're cutting, you need to be able to cut as soon as possible once the concrete will allow that. And that's a lot of cutting. So that's a very key point that needs to be covered in your initial design for construction. A lot of things that need to happen with a successful project are just inherent to concrete. So, as a contractor, you need to use good concrete practices. And the one thing that needs a lot of attention besides just the placement and the saw cutting is the curing process. And I don't think in the past a lot, is, a lot of attention, proper attention has been put to that. So a very important part is to make sure that you cure the concrete with uh, approved curing compounds at the rate that they need to be applied and they need, to, they need to go on as soon as possible. And that's a successful concrete paving project. Well, now that you've watched this video, you may still have questions as to why someone would even consider using concrete as an overlay material in place of asphalt that they've used for years. This is a proven technology that gives owners a choice. In the past, they've only had a choice of one paving material. There are some benefits of using concrete as an overlay material rather than doing the same things that they've done in the past. Let's just recap quickly some of the benefits of doing concrete overlays on existing asphalt parking lots. It renews the surface with a longer lasting material and it gives owners a choice. And time and time again, when we work with owners, we find that they want a choice, that they understand that there's only two choices for paving, but they would like to have that choice. And once they take a look at the concrete overlay, they make the decision to go with a longer lasting material. From a construction standpoint, it permanently corrects and fix low spots with a contoured paving program. And whether those low spots come from natural settling or maybe just simply from the tire impressions that occur in pavements, it fixes those permanently. They never come back. It optimizes the new lighting that we see being used across the United States and that's the advent of the LED light. 
Many customers have told us they need a lighter colored paving material when using LED lights to get the best optimization. Lighter colored paving reduces heat island effect, and that's top of mind in most cities across the United States. But it greatly reduces the interruption to your business. Once you pave with a permanent paving material, you don't have to shut down portions of your parking lot in years to come for maintenance and things that do disrupt your business. There's long-term cost savings. With the cost of paving material in the marketplace, concrete has never enjoyed the competitiveness today than it ever has in the history of paving. Let's pave.